I am Dr. Harish. I am a practicing general pediatrician and consultant international pediatric cardiologist. I am practicing at the JAWS Center in Jayanagar, Bangalore. Anemia is defined as a low hemoglobin levels for the age and the sex. It can be categorized into mild, moderate and severity of the nature. It can happen due to one is uh, uh, inadequate dietary intake which could be due to iron deficiency or vitamin B12 deficiencies or it could be due to folic acid deficiencies. The other second cause could be like uh, blood loss. It could be an acute loss or a chronic loss. Acute is in the sense an immediate uh, loss of blood or chronic loss in, uh, which will be due to an ongoing long-standing uh, blood loss. Or it could be due to impaired uh, production of the uh, red blood cells in the bone marrow. It can happen even due to increased uh, breakdown of uh, RBCs in the body. It could be due to uh, chronic uh, uh, conditions of the uh, other organ systems like liver, kidney. So any of these uh, systemic illnesses can cause uh, uh, anemia or it could be due to tumors or uh, commonly called as cancers. So these are the common uh, conditions, uh, common causes for uh, anemia. The uh, way they present is the signs and symptoms of uh, anemia in a child would be like uh, the child child looks uh, pale and it could be a, a chronically irritable uh, child. Uh, the child may get easily tired during routine activities. It can uh, present with a neurodevelopmental delay that is uh, if the baby is affected uh, from the earlier uh, period of uh, life. So that is also one of the presentation. The child can present with lack of uh, concentration or it could be presenting with uh, jaundice that is yellowish discoloration of uh, eyes and uh, skin or they can present with the swelling of uh, limbs that is the feet and the hands uh, may uh, look uh, swollen, abdominal distension. They can present with uh, abnormal uh, eating uh, uh, habits that is uh, they can start eating uh, uh, non-edible food items like uh, it could be like paint, it could be chalk paste or it could be uh, mud. So these are all the common uh, presentation. The other presentation could also be like uh, increased uh, heartbeat. So the uh, uh, and increased uh, respiratory activity that is uh, breathing fast so this is also a way of uh, presentation and uh, the uh, back of the fingers and um, uh, hands can appear a little blackish uh, there may be nail changes which can appear little lack of luster and it could be a little brittle so there could be a family history of uh, recurrent um, uh, anemias and uh, requiring blood transfusions this would also suggest that uh, the child may be suffering from Anemia. The way it is recognized is by we do some uh, blood investigations uh, like uh, complete blood hemogram and um, uh, peripheral smear and in, uh, if required other associated uh, uh, blood investigation might be required and bone marrow investigations might be required depending upon the uh, underlying uh, etiology which we are uh, considering. If uh, any of these symptoms are seen then definitely needs to be evaluated and the treatment uh, per se will depend upon the underlying cause. So whether if the child is severely sick, child might need uh, uh, hospitalization and uh, might require blood transfusion uh, just to stabilize the uh, child. And uh, in case the child is a uh, little stable and if it is only a mild anemia, some uh, what we do is only some dietary modifications where we find out what the dietary history, we take the dietary history and uh, based upon the nutritional uh, requirements Requirements. appropriate advice will be given like uh, uh, if it is due to iron deficiency anemia that will be addressed if it is due to vitamin b12 or folate deficiencies food uh, nutrients uh, which are uh, uh, rich in these uh, items uh, uh, this uh, nutrition uh, will be advised like uh, uh, green leafy vegetables uh, legumes so these are all uh, food items which can help in uh, building up the and uh, if it is due to other underlying causes this can be treated like if it is due to tumorous condition the child might require anti-cancerous treatment and if it is due to like a recurrent uh, hemolytic anemia, the child might even uh, require recurrent blood transfusions or in some cases we, uh, we might even advise a bone marrow transplantation.